Mind, 9th of April 2023, India confronted Myanmar on an expanding Chinese military camp and spy station on Coco Island. China has been building military bases and enslaving the populace of democratically elected governments like Burma as part of its all-out war against the rest of the world. If this is not corrected right away, India may declare the return void and reclaim Coco Island contravening the conditions under which it was handed to Burma. According to Indian officials with knowledge of the situation, India recently challenged Myanmar with intelligence, demonstrating that China is helping to construct an observation station and military infrastructure on a remote island, Coco Island, in the Bay of Bengal. The officials, who asked not to be identified because they were discussing sensitive information, said that Indian government representatives at various levels have shared satellite images with their counterparts in Myanmar that they claim show Chinese workers assisting with the construction of what appears to be a listening post on the Coco Islands in the Indian Ocean. They claim that the workers could also be seen extending an airfield. The officials claim that throughout the discussions, members of Myanmar's junta in power rejected any involvement from China and downplayed India's worries. India is still concerned, they claimed that China will be able to track missiles from test sites on its eastern coastline and monitor communications from naval stations thanks to the equipment. A spokesperson from Myanmar's State Administration Council, Major General Zamin Tun, referred to the claim that China was constructing a spy base on the Coco Islands as absurd, he said Myanmar would never permit access to foreign soldiers and denied that the subject had ever been discussed with Chinese or Indian authorities. Myanmar and India always have discussions at many levels, but there was no specific discussion on this issue, the man claimed. The Indian administration is already fully aware that only Myanmar security troops are stationed there and are engaged in defense operations on behalf of their nation. Arindam Bhagchi, India's Ministry of External Affairs spokesman, responded to inquiries by saying that the nation would take necessary measures to protect its interests. He claimed that the government keeps a constant eye on all developments impacting India's security. A request for a response was not answered by Chen Hai, the Chinese ambassador to Myanmar, who met with a few junta ministers earlier this week. The Chinese foreign ministry did not immediately answer questions. Since 2020, when the deadliest fighting in decades broke out on their Himalayan border, there has been an increase in military tensions between India and China. The government of Prime Minister Narendra Modi has also taken steps to limit Chinese apps in India and entice foreign investors looking to diversify away from the second-largest economy in the world. Since the 1990s, rumors have been circulating that Myanmar permitted a Chinese signals intelligence facility on the archipelago. After the London-based policy research organization Chatham House published a report last week claiming that Myanmar was militarizing the Coco Islands to conduct maritime surveillance operations in the region, the topic returned to the spotlight. Chinese research vessels used for snooping in the Indian Ocean haven't docked there to avoid stoking suspicions, according to Indian officials. At this time, China has been assessed to have no offensive military capabilities on the island, Great Coco Island but they said China uses the salami slicing technique. Even though Chinese workers frequently visit the islands to assist with equipment setup, they continued that no Chinese personnel were stationed there permanently. However, they believe that since a coup in 2021 brought about several rounds of sanctions from the US and Europe, the generals have grown increasingly economically reliant on Beijing. The officials said India intends to keep pushing Myanmar's junta to stop China from running the espionage post. China. Myanmar's leading trading partner, has invested in the country's ports and energy pipelines to avoid the Strait of Malacca, which would be a flashpoint in any more significant Asian conflict. Less than 60 kilometers .2 miles, separate India's military installation from the Coco Islands in the Andaman and Nicobar Island group. The officials stated without providing any other details that the nation is increasing its capacity in that island group plans for more cooperation after U.S. President Joe Biden met Chinese leader Xi Jinping in Indonesia last November were thwarted when the U.S. fired down an alleged spy balloon allegedly flying over China's border early this year. The Pentagon reported last week that although the U.S. could limit what the balloon collected, it could obtain intelligence from military facilities. The U.S. has warned about Chinese efforts to build military facilities in other Asian countries. The Pentagon claimed last year that Reem Naval Base in Cambodia's facilities will be the first PRC overseas base in the Indo-Pacific, even though the Phnom Penh administration has consistently refuted the claim. Beijing has likewise attempted to establish itself in the Pacific. According to Reuters, 
China civil engineering construction company has been awarded the contract to renovate an international port in the Solomon Islands. At the time, there were worries that it might move into something else, like a port with both military and civilian uses, according to Samoan Prime Minister Fiam Naomi Mata Arfa. Pentagon spokesman Martin Miners stated that the U.S. is concerned that China is seeking to establish a global network of logistics and basing infrastructure that will allow the PLA to project and sustain military power at greater distances. Miners expressed concern about the lack of transparency and clarity around the terms it negotiates with host countries and the intended purposes of these facilities, yet he did not mention the alleged Chinese actions in the Cocoa Islands.